Clea and today I decided to do my video on my top 10 natural hair mistakes that I have made. A little background on my natural hair. I have been natural for four years. One of my very, very, very best friends, she went natural. Freshman year, I had perm or my summer of my eighth grade year going to my freshman year I had a perm and I was like girl I cannot go natural I don't know how you doing it I can't do it I gotta have my hair straight and luscious but it really wasn't luscious it was brittle it was dry it was just a hot mess it was just and she encouraged me to go natural there's more than 10 mistakes that I have made with my natural hair but I'm gonna do the top 10 like the top 10 that like stop my hair from growing top 10 my number one the stupidest reason ever you should ever do to your natural hair is I shampoo every week well every two weeks every week and did not use conditioner at all point blank period I never use conditioner ever and that is so bad. I was always wondering why my hair felt so brittle and disgusting. It felt so dry. And I just did not know why it felt so nasty. But now I know why I did not use conditioner. Second natural hair mistake was wearing weave back to back um, and not giving my hair a break. I went through a lot, a lot of different hairstyles with weave and I was just so ashamed of my natural hair. Just slapped a ponytail back up in it and I was like okay I'm gonna do this for a while instead of wearing my hair. Well, it's time to take my weave down and to wash my real hair I would just put the weave back in it. It was not dry. It was still dripping wet and I have like not dandruff but like it's like dry patches from back there from my hair not being being able to breathe or dry properly underneath it. It used to be so uncontrollably itchy. Like I could not take how itchy it was. My third mistake was straightening my hair. Well I didn't really straighten like my whole head. I basically straightened my bangs. I would wear my bangs straight all the time like I would straighten it multiple times a day because with my natural hair when I straighten it it gets very 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 frizzy very very frizzy when I go out in the humidity and everything it's just too much so I just like you know what let me just it's, it's okay let me just straighten it I had the worst heat damage that heat damage was uncontrollable I had not like my only option was to cut my bangs. My fourth mistake with my natural hair is that I didn't take care of my real hair under the weave. It's like different from wearing weaves from back to back and the, like me pulling it back when it's wet. Like you know how you're supposed to oil your scalp and like wash your hair underneath it? Well I have a phobia with washing my real hair underneath weave I'm scared that I'm gonna like get mold and mildew and stuff so I just don't I just leave my hair alone under the weave when I take my weave out my hair and my scalp is like dying for thirst like it's dry and my scalp is flaky I rarely have weave in my hair now it just I just can't take care of my real hair underneath that weave I just have like the hardest time doing so so I said you know what I'm just gonna stop wearing weave since I can't do it my fifth natural hair mistake is not doing the lock method most naturals know what the lock method is but just in case you guys don't it's liquid oil and cream I started doing the lock method one time and I just could not I just felt like it wasn't doing anything but that's because I didn't have the proper products I feel like for my hair my sixth natural hair mistake which should be number two because that's how bad it is is that I did not deep condition my hair not deep condition my hair. if you are natural you know how bad that is my seventh 
hair mistake or my natural hair mistake is that I did not wear a bonnet to sleep or have a silk pillowcase. I just felt like that was unnecessary. It just doesn't do anything. My hair will be just fine, but that's a lie. Now I sleep with a satin bonnet. The silk bonnet that I use is kind of tight right here um, around the edges. Not, not super tight like it's squeezing my head to death, but like it's like tight so it does not fall off. My eighth natural hair mistake is not alternating between hot and cold water. So I use kind of warm, lukewarm water. I try to keep it a little hotter just because I need to get that build up off of my scalp. And then my very final last wash is with cold water. Like I will turn to the coldest water. You feel that cold water like on your scalp? Like running down your scalp? It feels so good. Like your scalp is like tingling. Like almost like a peppermint feeling like that cooling feeling. My ninth natural hair mistake this should be third and that I was combing my hair with a little comb and not a wide tooth comb natural hair is really clumped and close together so when you comb it with a little comb like you're a rat tail comb you're just yanking like putting so much extra stress on your hair I would comb my hair with something like this when you just put it in your hair it's like yanking your scalp like and like my scalp used to bleed sometimes I'm trying to comb my hair another tip do not comb your hair when it's dry do it when it's wet I use this one rarely I ever use this comb I finger detangle more than I do anything and sometimes I don't even have to detangle my hair because my hair is so properly moisturized that it just does not knot up my last natural hair mistake that I have made was not clarifying my hair. If you guys don't know what clarifying is, it's basically like shampooing but better for your hair. It's like the mixture of like keeping your scalp clean without the shampoo but it's still nourishing for your hair. I clarify my hair with apple, the apple cider vinegar rinse every time. I don't use a clean, cleansing sh conditioner. I know some naturals use a cleansing conditioner, but I just personally feel like an apple cider vinegar rinse does just as great. My camera is dying. But those are my top 10 natural hair mistakes. I hope you guys actually learned some stuff from me. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I love you guys very, very, very much. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!